this video we are going to look at a very very recent release last couple of weeks in fact and it's uh, Cyvaria Delta um, you probably know this from the um, PS2 release um, this is quite similar in terms of content contains a Cyvaria um, medium unit and revision um, revision being the later uh, kind of remastered version of the original heavy unit um, as to be said this PS4 port is pretty goddamn good um, I did like the PS2 version but revision on that um, compilation was actually really really good um, and the original kind of, kind of started to show its age um, but um, this version kind of you know um, kind of, uh, how do I say it, um, kind of enhances both versions really um, and I'll talk about that a bit later um, first things first, um, this is the limited edition it was released, I picked this up for £43 on release brand new on import, um, there was a standard edition which was um, uh, around about 34 quid. Um, and in terms of if you want to buy it now, you can still buy it from um, retailers like PlayAsia. A um, little bit more expensive than it was on release, but not much. And um, there was a third Japanese exclusive edition apparently, which had a bunch of um, extra stuff with it, like um, a vinyl record. Um, never saw that kind of sold anywhere, otherwise I probably would have um, pumped for that one. Um, but um, I went I went to the limited edition, you get a few extras in there that you don't get with the standard edition. Um, the standard edition is getting a release, a US release, um, but the Japanese version, um, virtually everything in it is, um, is in English. So um, it's uh, very, very import friendly if you actually want to pick this one up. Um, let's have a look at what's in the box. And as you can see, there's an outslip case on this one. Um, I believe the cover art is different on the limited edition to the normal edition. And what you get in this is not that much more, to be honest. Um, it's not ridiculously expensive for a limited edition, but uh, you also, um, a lot of what you're actually getting here is DLC. So, um, main game disc itself, you get a nice little Cyvaria sticker. Uh, there's a digital soundtrack download available. Not a bad soundtrack, actually. And there is also an additional ship as well. Looks like a, a, a mech type ship day for DLC. Um, in terms of what the game's got in it, um, it's really really good actually because as I said you can play both games um, I don't know if it's just me but heavy um, what's it medium unit looks like um, it's had a uh, look of paint it does look pretty nice I remember the PS2 version looking pretty ropey to be honest and I think that's probably uh, I don't know maybe down to the original arcade version it may be down to the limitations of the PS2 but um, this one is definitely, um, yeah, the, the, the revision of um, medium unit actually looks really, really nice. Um, it plays really, really well. Um, and revision is probably where you'll get your entertainment um, out of this game. Um, branching storyline. Um, it, it, this game kind of really reminds me how satisfying it is to play these Bulls games sometimes because it's so kind of well executed in this game. Here rewarded for actually going and grazing near the bullets and um, one of the um, kind of innovations that I quite like on this version is um, when you actually um, look at the wallpaper on the um, on either game um, it will show an extreme close up of your ship and the hitbox on your ship is that kind of small you can actually weave your way through those bullets it does really help, it's a really nice and helpful en enhancement uh, it has to be said that I think that medium unit plays a lot harder than revision. Revision seems to be a bit more um, 
forgiving and I think the um, yeah the, the definite enhancements that they, they brought that game graphical enhancements and gameplay announcement enhancements I mean that revision still is the the superior game in my uh, in my book but you can do um, lots of different interesting gameplay tweaks where you can play through um, the first you know the first game using the second game ships and stuff like that and there's a ton of um, uh, score attack modes and replay modes where you could actually tweak and also practice mode as well you can practice your way through the game um, so it, it's really good. Both games themselves are, are, are quite short, but there's plenty of replay value. Um, yeah, in, in short, it, it, it's really satisfying. And the US version is going to be really, really cheap. It's around about the £23 mark, so, um, you know, one, one, one to pick up if you're a retail PS4 collector. So, yeah, I, I kind of fell in love with this game a bit. <laughs> again and um, made me realise how good it was so uh, so one that's well worth picking up um, it has had a switch release as well um, and I believe it's exactly the same so uh, so yeah alright all right, it's getting a switch release It's I've seen it listed anyway um, so uh, yes I'll put some gameplay on the end of this but if you're a retail PS4 collector, definitely one I consider adding to your collection because it is a lot of fun. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.